Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the August 2020 reading for our, who is it for guys? Libra. Gosh darn, I'm flying through these readings, alright? So I wanted to say Leo. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo, okay? It's definitely for Libra though, okay? So this is the August 2020 reading for Libra, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. It does not matter where you have it at on your chart. If in any way you identify as a Libra, then this is for you. Let us see what the messages are for you guys. Messages for Libra, please, Spirit, for August 2020. Messages for Libra, August 2020. <clears throat> Let us see. Libra, August 2020, Libra, August 2020, all right, six chakra in reverse, okay, so I feel here where you guys may be um, receiving messages intuitively, but you're not listening to them, okay, or you're struggling, having a difficult time with being able to decipher what these messages are, perhaps, okay, we have community in reverse, all right, ooh, some of you may not be feeling where you are, your surroundings, some of you may be wanting to move, looking for a change in scenery, um, you also just want to surround yourself with different types of people is what i'm hearing yeah deceit is in reverse because you feel like you can't trust the people that are around you and that's never good okay if you can't trust the people you're working with then that's a problem we also have rest and rejuvenation in reverse so i feel like you guys are not really getting much rest or sleeping well okay and it could be because there's something here going on that you can't quite figure out i'm also feeling for some of you when it comes to romance and love that you're thinking your person may be creeping around and they are okay so unfortunately that's what i see here I also feel like you guys have been trying to walk away for a while, but you haven't been able to, okay, for whatever reason. Let's see what's going on for the month of August for our Libras. August 2026 for Libra, please. I feel like when it comes to work and finances, everything is going well, but when it comes to relationships and things like that, not so much, okay? Let us see messages for Libra. Spirit, please, messages for Libra, for August. We have prosperity begins, okay? So, yeah, I feel like you're going to a totally different level in life. You're bossing up, leveling up, and you just want to be careful and cautious of who it is that you have around you. It makes sense. I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Selena or not, but that's just a prime example. Selena thought that lady was amazing, and she thought she was great, and she's so sweet, and all this stuff. Even when they found out that she was, you know, stealing money and putting in other places, and that she was lying to people and all of that, Selena still gave her another chance. But this is here where one of those chances like you can't keep giving people those chances you just can't see we have love begins in reverse as i said that so i feel here like it's being confirmed right now for somebody that your person is creeping like you feel like they are i feel like um you're losing sleep because let's say for example you wake up in the middle of the night you look over your person's not there it's like that okay also i'm listening to music right now guys and the song that just came on is by ella may called she don't okay so i feel like yeah that's definitely happening right now we have firm foundation in reverse yeah you don't want to start something with someone who you can't trust as in build a life you can't trust them you get what i'm saying um what else is it that i can tell you guys that's relatable to like music and, and songs and movies and stuff like that because i know people be like oh you know that's like this song it's like this movie i don't really read like that but i know people like that sometimes okay so we have movement choices and decisions exactly so you guys have a lot of decisions to make okay some hefty ones on top of that this ain't no regular regular everyday type of decision no you gotta figure out if you want to be with this person anymore or not and i feel like y'all maybe have been together for a while too to top that off so. mm -hmm. i don't know if you can trust this person it's like never lie never steal from me right he just asked me, never lie, never steal from him. But I feel here like somebody may be lying and may be stealing from you. If somebody can lie to you, they can definitely steal from you. If you can lie, you can cheat, you can steal. So let us see. This is for Libra. Alright. Let us see. Alright. We 
have the moon card in reverse. I feel like there's definitely some things coming out and being revealed to you right now, okay? You're starting to see something or somebody for exactly what they are or what it is. Yep, got the queen of swords. This is your energy. You're keeping it focused on whatever it is that you want to look um, look forward to when it comes to prosperity and abundance. But in regards to this relationship stuff, boy, mm, I don't see it. I don't even feel it because you can't trust this person. You can't trust them. Yeah, so you're focused on your solo dolo happiness with the sun here and the ten of pentacles in reverse. Whatever family life or whatever was going on in that sense. No, ma'am. No, sir. It's not it. I'm sorry. You know, I don't even think that you guys care too much because of the seven of you don't trust them. That's just what it boils down to. Period. Seven of Swords is a clear indication that this person is creeping, okay? You'll, like, roll over. This person is not there. And they give you different excuses and reasons as to why they can't show up. And just all this different stuff. And you just know that they're lying. You're intuitive. You're Swords energy. So, you know, you can sense in the air when somebody's lying to you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think this person gets that. You're also highly intellectual. So you always piece things together. And, uh... Ten of Swords, you can't trust this person. They've betrayed you too many times. So the challenge here for you is moving on and actually going about your business, okay? Because, like I said, you've tried to walk away, but for whatever reason, you can't. It could be, I mean, you feel stuck with the hang one here in reverse. It could be because you guys share finances or, like, you live together. So, like everything is together you know so maybe you want to leave this person alone but you can't okay could be a marriage somebody could be married here okay what we got we got the emperor energy here okay so this person they're very stubborn they could be a fire sign like i told you guys maybe that's why i wanted to say leo i get real heavy aries energy or leo energy okay we have the high priestess here reverse. Some of you just aren't, like I said, trusting your intuition or listening to your intuition. Maybe you needed the confirmation. This is your confirmation, okay? Let us see. Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the sun card. What we got? We got the king of swords in reverse. Wow, yep. So I feel here where um, you have to put yourself in that masculine energy, even if you're not a masculine, and be... Um, and take action, okay? Be active. That's what masculine energy is. Use good judgment here. Just came out over the high priestess. Let's see what's going on with this seven of swords, okay? So I feel like somebody is having a wake-up call as to what's really happening in their relationship. And they're like, okay, I got to make some changes here during the month of August. Yep. So you realize that this person, it's like you're never going to be able to prosper with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, because this person, they are um, very manipulative. I feel like they use your finances, like as in the family shared finances, they use it on tricking and stuff like that. So let us see Ten of Swords, okay? If you don't know what tricking is, it means that they pretty much out here spoiling their hosts, okay? Or showering their mistresses or their misters, okay? Whether it's a mistress or a mister, they're showering him or her, okay, with gifts. So we have the tower card here in reverse. Spirit is about to make all this shit come out. Excuse my language. In the open. And you're going to end up separating from this person. Ace of Cups in reverse. Two of Wands. You're going to end up making your decision. I feel like um, somebody here, like I said, when it comes to finances, finances are good. Finances are great. But this right here, mm -mm -mm, you're going to work even harder. I see somebody going to be taking uh, double shifts, triple shifts during the month of August because of this situation. But, you know, I, I don't feel like you guys are going to be heartbroken by this because I feel like you intuitively knew it you just needed some type of proof and once you get this reading that's going to be great but you still need that physical proof because you're a libra so once you get that physical proof though which is coming you're going to be like all right i'm done so if this was your message give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and hair breeze.